Hello, children. Are you ready for some cutting up and kikiing? Are you ready for a gay old time? Well, I hope you are, because now it's time for Hey Queen with your host, Johnny McGovern. Yeah. Hey Queen, come on and spill the tea. Hey Queen, it's just a good old fashioned kiki. Hey Queen, we're cutting up with Johnny. Faggity children and others, welcome to another snatched episode of Hey Queen with me, your host, Johnny McGovern. I'm very excited for today's show. The fierce and mighty Miss Jiggly Caliente is here. Yeah. Yeah. May I call her Jiggly? I guess we'll find out. But before we do that, there's another large and lovely lady I have to introduce. She's Becky with the good hair's cunty older sister. <laughs> she hit it with more millionaires than an elevator full of Solanges. <laughs> and her surprise visual album, Sprite with Kool-Aid in it, drops on HBO this weekend. <laughs> it's Miss Lady Red Couture. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Queen. Hey, Queen. Hey, Sparkalina. How you doing? Oh, my goodness. Oh. You look like you've been dipped in glitter. Do you like my elegance? I do. Can we get a close on Lady Red's beat for the glitter to really appreciate the glitter? That's a lot of shit. Oh. Well, but not just her titty. How oh. Kellen, <laughs> our crew members obsessed with Lady Red's titties. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> man. Well, <Marjorie laughs> Kellen, please. Yes, be careful. No. Oh, yeah, working, oh. Lady Red. Oh, oh, he likes all that meat. I'm telling you, that yeah. juice is real, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, if you're ever in the audience for a take of Hey Queen, you get to see the behind-the-scenes sexual harassment <laughs> of our crew members by Lady Red. It's no longer sexual harassment. It's a job requirement. You yeah. should know if you want to work on Hey Queen and you should be attractive, you should expect <laughs> some attention. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> and you know attention. how I am, because I like a Attention, honey. Oh, like, attention. Good morning. How you doing? <laughs> good morning. Good evening. <laughs> yeah. Time for breakfast, motherfucker. Time for breakfast, son. I'm serving sausage. Pure, unadulterated, cut sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what? There's just some things. I take small pleasure in things, <laughs> Lady Red. I take small joys. Yes. And one of the things I take small joys in is watching you run from your couch to this couch <laughs> during the opening credits. Some days is funnier than others. <laughs> but today you were like, it was like, ready, set, go. You were just, mm, mm, mm. You were running it. You were doing it, honey. Because those who come here realize what I have to do. And coming off of that, it's a lower couch over there. Yes, it is. So I have to, like, get up. And then sometimes I have Keith or Sahara or people around to help yeah. me. Yeah. So then they help me up. And then I have to run over here. Because before you start your announcement, <laughs> yes. I have to have my shoes on and be primped and comfortable to get my shot. That's right. So if my fat ass don't do it correctly, <laughs> I, I trip over something or I just move too slow and then it's like, hey, queen. It's like, this fat bitch ain't even in her place. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, go for Lady Red. Where's Lady Red? <laughs> Does anyone have eyes on Lady Red? Does right. anyone have eyes on Lady Red? And I'm waiting for the day, even though I run with no shoes on, I'm waiting for the day I fall down. Because <laughs> oh. you know, it's wires and shit sometimes all There over. is. It's and like an obstacle course. I'm waiting. I like to, I like to laugh, so my problem is I'll be looking for the joke. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So please make sure it's a hair. We get that. The day I fall, just, you know, roll it around. I mean, Wendy Williams it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you, if I'm going to fall, make sure it's on camera. Yes, draw. baby, because I might actually damage something and have to do recovery, you know. We don't want that, baby. We don't Not want that. really, but you're kidding No me? falling. Yes, no, I roll, though. I would, if you, <laughs> you roll? I roll. You, you know, know, that's the good thing about being a big girl. There's so much cushion. You really can't hurt nothing. God bless it for that. I've heard that that's how Jiggly Caliente learned how to do the splits. Oh. She would jump up and then she had extra padding so she could split it out. That's not shade, that's words from her mouth. I know, I'm just. I can't believe you repeated it. <laughs> Um, well, we're not alone here today. We have the beautiful musical sounds of our band, Mr. Adam Joseph and the Go To Bed Wigs. Hey, 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 queen. Oh, is that D'Angelo's wife's cousin? 
I think so. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> D'Angelo's white cousin, the okay. white soul hummingbird. Oh, God bless him. God bless her. I want God. some of your brown sugar, baby. Oh, my goodness. I'm talking I... to Lady Red. Oh. <laughs> You shouldn't joke around. Uh, that's actually true. She you did sleep with of... your mouth open, bitch. Are you sure you want to go there? <laughs> you sure? Because, you know, I stay up all night long. All night long. All night. All night. All night. All night. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew somebody would do it if I did I that. I can't be bothered. I love uh, it. In our house, we call Adam Joseph Lady Red's white slave because one time when Lady Red's man came over and said, well, look at you. Look at that. You got that little white slave out in the living room. <laughs> that was a real <laughs> quote. A, a real, real quote for someone. <laughs> so now we, re- we refer to Adam Joseph as a white oh slave in the house. <laughs> was, yeah, because when he said it, I was like, what did you say? Because he said it real low. You know, you got that white slave out there. I said, what? Say what? I, I know I heard slave. You know what I mean? I was like, what the fuck did he just? And then he was like, no. Nah. He was like, you know, you that white boy on the couch. You got that little, you know, ain't he your sex slave? I said, boy, <laughs> did you knock it off? You think I fuck everybody like I fuck you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, good old Adam Joseph, the soul hummingbird and the white slave of soul. <laughs> Slave of soul. That's going on That's my good. Facebook. Very nice. It's going to be on her tombstone. Yes, it is. Her mother will be so proud. So very proud. <laughs> All right. Well, we got a huge show. The gorgeous Jiggly Caliente is here today. Yeah. And we'll be with her right after this very gay break. everybody is Johnny and Lady Red breaking into your regularly scheduled program to let you know about an amazing show we have coming up in San Francisco yes. we'll be debuting our brand new cabaret show oh, called work queen <laughs> because we say hey on TV but when we hit the stage we work. work. <laughs> it's gonna be music fun comedy oh. Kind of stuff. It's going to be incredible. Make sure you check it out. And you can get tickets right here. Go get them, See son. you there. We'll be there. Be there both nights. Why don't you? Why don't you? Why don't you? Yeah! <laughs> Work Queen, coming to Oasis June 12th. Work! Hey, everyone. Johnny here to let you know about our brand new website, HeyQueen.tv. We are back. Uh, may I call her Jiggly? Let's find out. Here she is, Jiggly Caliente. Yes, Mama. Come on, girl. Why Woo. don't you spill that tea? Spill the tea. Oh, oh, me, I call God. you Jiggly. You look good. Oh, ah. It's time to have a tea. Get down the Jiggly. <laughs> attaching your mic to the couch and you said I ain't been attached to a couch in a long time. Yeah, my good old escorting days. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah, life before Drag Race. Wow. <laughs> all right, where are this tea is already <laughs> spicy and delicious. Is I ain't got no chai shame. Latte? Wait, these are the Drag Race. I ain't got no shame. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love the look. I love the hair. I love Thank the you. makeup. I love everything. And the shoes. Can we get a little shoe cam, please? On these Pink delight, hot Thank pink you. delights. Look at her, Ooh, yes. Uh, Blinky boots. Very nice. Yeah, I can't last long in them though. No. <laughs> <laughs> we, we know how that goes around here. Lady Red has someone bring her shoes to the couch, Child. right, Lady Red? <laughs> 250 pounds on these sticks, bitch, bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get some very hard industrial trade shoes. Child, they need to be titanium, aluminum, or like something. <laughs> Adamantium, something. NYC's plus size Barbie is here, uh, Lady Red. Are you excited to see her? Yes, honey, you know I love a thick bitch. Bitch, do you got snacks over there? Yeah. 
Yes, at all How times. you gonna have a fat girl here and you gonna have all the <laughs> snacks over there and got no snacks for me? Well, <laughs> didn't they get my right? I should have pork rinds. You have to concentrate and do the interview. <laughs> <laughs> I can do two interview. things at once. I can suck dick and lick balls at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job, Pat. Oh, thank you. Oh, honey, I, it's been a while since I've seen you. So I saw you at Austin Drag Fest last year, like yes. quick in the elevator. Yeah, and while I, we were all trying to check in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I remember being like, Jake, you remember that time in the park when you did Miss Yelly back in the day? Oh, my God, yeah. That was the first time I think I saw you was when I was doing a party at the, the Rambles at the park. And Milan was doing shows for us. Yes. And she would bring in all the girls, all the uh -huh. hottest new girls. And you came in and did your Missy Elliott yep. number. Did I do the trash bag then? Yeah, I think yeah, you I did. did yeah. The good old the trash bag though. Do you know how much I hated that trash bag though? <laughs> did you? <laughs> Whew, bitch. It's like I always had to buy like a big pack of like that glad big garbage thing and I have to like <laughs> tape it underneath and then fan it underneath and make right. sure it look like a bubble. Right. <laughs> a lot of work. Uh, buddy. And then I'm like sweating work. my ass off. It's like it's a workout in there. It's all <laughs> <Yeah>. good now. <laughs> So what's been going on, Jiggly? You've been traveling. You've been almost traveling nonstop since the show, right? Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, no, knock on hate I me want this to end. But you know, like I'm glad that I'm. Other doors have opened up besides touring. It's like acting and getting to be on TV, which is outside of Drag Race, is cool and nice. So the exposure that Drag Race gives us and the platform, it's so amazing. And I, I'll never, like, take that for granted. Yeah. I was like, yeah, you know what, may I call you Jiggly? Yeah, it gets annoying, but you know what? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I mean, during RuPaul's uh, keynote speech at DragCon last year, I think you dropped, like, 150 Jiggly Caliente bombs all the way through it. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why. I'm just glad it happened. Yes. You know, I ain't mad at it. Just... I mean, to have RuPaul continue, the fact that A, because we know RuPaul's not good at remembering people's names. First of all, there's a hundred of us. Yeah. So the fact that she remembers my fat pudgy ass. <laughs> Yes, God. Thank you for remembering this short, round, and brown girl. Thank you. <laughs> short, round, and brown. I love it. Um, so you've been a, you've toured enough that even when you want to go back to the Philippines, you could go visit your aunt first class, right? That, well, no, I don't know about first class yet. <laughs> nah. but that's, that is like that 24-hour flight. That's really international, and I don't know if they can happen. But you know, I'm praying. I'm hoping one day I could do it. It's, yeah, it's fun, and the touring is really, really cool. I get to meet a lot of different fans and eat a lot of different kind of good food. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and oh, and suck all the different trade, bitch. Yes, mm. God. You know what, there's a lot of things you and Lady Red have in common. You both <laughs> love food, and you both love DL Thugs. Yes, Miss yeah. that. Oh my God, that is like, I'm gonna shut up now. No, <laughs> don't shut up, that's why you're here. Okay, well my, all right. I always say like, I like to feel like I'm in danger. Oh, uh, yes you do, <laughs> you do. <laughs> Like, I don't like boys. Like, I, I can't deal with a punk. Like, if I look like I could whoop your ass, mm. we can't fuck. Right. I need to feel like my life is in danger. Yes. <laughs> like, I need to be like, you know, like, you'll pull a gun out and be like, shut up, bitch. And I'm like, oh, yes, God. <laughs> Damn, G. Looking like the boy that probably robbed you a few minutes before you came to Paris' ball. Thank you. <laughs> One time Lady Rad said, oh, I had just the most romantic night. This man said he had a gun under the bed. <laughs> yeah! Oh, my God, that is such a... Oh, my... So this, I went on a date once, and this boy, he was like, I hope you don't get scared, but I have a gun in the glove compartment. Bitch, I tell you, I suck this dick right in that car. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I was like, you got me open. You don't tell me shit like that. <laughs> like, Ooh. Keep like, talking. Keep do, you have talking. A, do you have a missile Stop launcher? Do you have a missile launcher? Do you have a brick? <laughs> you want to hit me? Oh, my God. Shit. Come here, bitch. <laughs> choke it. You love to ride the choke fuck express, Yes, God. You? Yes, you do. <laughs> I think I'm if it don't hurt, you're not doing it right. Wow. Well, that's good. <laughs> Lady Red, y'all sisters have a lot of garbage. No, not really. I I'm... <laughs> Lady, Lady Red likes to be the I'm one I'm more the thug, son. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> see, you no, don't, no, you no, don't no. scare me, I scare you. 
<laughs> See, I can't do that. No. The, no, no, I'm the lady. Um, and then you said you love to. Like Rihanna me all the way down. Oh, Rihanna you all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh, that's even too much for the, the Hey Queen no, audience is off. Oh. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You know what's good? Oh, no, ma'am. <laughs> No, ma'am. <laughs> no, ma wait, did I go too far? Shit. Never. Oh, man. Go ahead, comment section. Just go ahead. No. <laughs> God, here we go. Here we go. Oh, Lord. <laughs> um, and so when you travel around, you like to suck the dick and then do your fans bring Hashtag you food? Hashtag road trade. I Hashtag love. road trade. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have, is it, do you have race chaser trade or do you just find, like, hang out by the prison bus stop and, you know, get that? I always that? turn on my Tinder as soon as I get into the city. Uh-huh. Like, as soon as the plane lands and they tell you, like, I don't even wait for them to tell me to turn my phone on. I just, like, bloop, bloop. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Tinder's on. Thank <laughs> you. Nope. <laughs> right. <laughs> shink, 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 shink. Get them all. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Adam is on point today, Lady <laughs> Ram, those sound effects. Baby, that's that five hour energy. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> Do your fans bring you food to, uh, at yeah, meet and greet? I will say, like, that is the one thing. That I'm, I kind of wish I said I wanted like diamonds or like money, oh, right? <laughs> Bitch, because every city I go to, there's either a bouquet of lollipops or like some kind of food. Yeah. And I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm. I ain't, ain't too proud of it. I, I like free food, bitch. Yeah. I'm fat. I need to keep this shape. That's for, right. You know, the beauty. The name has to stay the same. Jiggly has to be jiggly. So. <laughs> You know, but I'm not gonna complain about that. But damn, I should have said I oh, like like diamonds and shit, and probably would have gotten some diamonds, right. diamonds and cash, or some Louboutins. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, now I know a lot of times you're like everybody wants to talk about everything, but I just want to talk about my favorite food. So I'd like to give you this opportunity for us to chat about what your favorite <laughs> things to eat are. Oh well, I, obviously I'm Filipino, so I love Filipino food. Mm -hmm. That is like my biggest. What is your favorite dish? Uh, Lumpia. Uh-huh. And, and what is that? What is that exactly? It's basically like a little egg roll. Uh-huh. And it's like it's with meat and like some little bit of vegetables. It's a little bit of cabbage. And a little no, not really cabbage. We have carrots in it. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's really yummy. Mm. And um you dip in some chili sweet chili sauce, bitch. Oh, yeah. God. Mm. Woo. <laughs> um yeah, I mean I like comfort food. And right now, since I got my teeth done, I really can't eat much. Oh, right. Uh, bitch, I'm so annoyed. I can't eat chips or cookies or anything, like, hard or crunchy. You for can't? A, no, not for, like, a couple weeks. Wow. Are, your, are these new? Yeah. Oh, they look so mm. beautiful. <laughs> oh, they look gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. So, Wilkins. Yes. For new yeah. days. Shout out. So it's just a couple weeks ago? Uh, literally last Wednesday, I had them wow. done. Like the bottoms were finished last Wednesday. Oh, amazing. So I'm still on painkillers and like. Yeah, you're like, I'm good. feeling good. Yeah. Yeah. Three mimosas and painkillers on a plane? Yes, bitch, I'm good. <laughs> right, because we ah. picked you up straight from the airport. You came straight here. Did you paint the car? I painted on the plane. On the plane. Ah. Uh, I bitch, love it. That poor lady next to me, she was like, I'm not mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, go read your little Kindle, girl. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I got work to I'm do. I'm like, girl, I got shit to do. <laughs> uh, um, so what was the experience like getting your teeth done? Because I would one day like to have my teeth knocked out or done. Uh, what was the, uh, what, how was it? The extractions were the, the painful part. Uh -huh. And Did you then, have to be awake for that? Yeah, I was Ooh. wide awake. Ooh. And so I was like, I'm seeing the doctor like clink, pulling shit out, and I'm like, <laughs> You know, I don't feel it because like they numb the fuck out right, of me. Right, but you still feel like a motion and like There's you see pressure. the teeth going by. Yeah, and you see it go by. And I'm like, oh wow. Oh. <laughs> and I'm just like, shit. Thank God I got rid of that fucker. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're like, oh, that one didn't look good. Yeah, at all. like shit. No wonder they made fun of me. <laughs> fuck, they do look like fucking like fish tank rocks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Bianca. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
but so but now you just must be looking in the mirror and being like ding ding ding. Oh bitch, ding. yes God, that's uh, one thing. Now like my ego was already like insane before uh, <laughs> before my teeth were fixed, and now that they're fixed, bitch, you can't come for this car though. Hey. Yes. So I'm like, girl, passable down. Yes, honey. <laughs> She's serving fresh fish. Yeah, I just can't suck dick for like another two weeks. Shut. No, <laughs> no crunchy cookies, no dick. Bitch. When the doctor told me that, he's like, you can't suck on anything. You're like, what? He made, he made sure he really didn't tell me. You can't suck on anything. Wow. No straws or anything. I go, oh, why you got to say like that? <laughs> Oh, what you mean? I can't suck on nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. My popularity a... would go to hell. <laughs> <All right. laughs> At least a, a prison bus stops. <laughs> yeah, those poor boys. They're going to be like, damn. What happened to Jiggly? Where's Jiggly at? They got to go all back to the re regular fish. Right. <laughs> They're not as good as this kind of fish. Hell no, bitch. I'm like a Hoover. <laughs> 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 I love it. Hey.